In this example, I'm machining of a bracket. The next operation is defined to perform the bottom ledge machining on the underside of the part. Let's first switch over to Mac 2, position 1. Then double click iRough face back ledge in the cam tree to open the I'm machining operation dialog box. By clicking the show button on the geometry page, we can see that two chains are defined, with the first being the stock boundary and the second being the bottom of the floor radius. Now the stock chain is marked as open, which, as we know, specifies that, that the tool should start machining from this outside chain. Exit the Show Geometry dialog box by clicking Cancel. By switching to the tool page, you'll see that this operation uses the half-inch diameter end mill. And on the Levels page, we can see that the milling levels are defined. On the Technology Wizard page, we can see the cutting conditions calculations based on a machining level aggressiveness of 6. By switching to the Technology page, you'll see a minimal allowance is specified for the wall and no offset is specified for the floor. Let's click Simulate to take a look at the iMachining toolpath at work. Using the default HostCAD mode, click the Play button. We see that the tool approaches from the outside and uses a single continuous spiral to collapse in towards the radius. The floor radius is not machined at this time. Let's also look at the simulation using Solid Verify. Click Play again to view the cutting tool moving through the solid stock material. Well, that just about does it for the bottom ledge machining. We can close the simulation control panel and the iMachining Operation dialog box with the exit buttons. Next, we'll take a look at the iMachining operation defined to perform the cutting of excess material from the through hole. 